So the division just dropped, and I gotta say, this game is kind of average, sort of. Because when you look at the hype that they put into this game since 2013, and you think about it, this game was supposed to be like the biggest thing Ubisoft has done in a long time. It was supposed to be their baby. It's supposed to be their star. And then they put this out, and you play it, and you just feel like this game is okay, but it's not something that I would ever even think of putting top 5 video games. Like, I wouldn't even consider it as a top 10 video. I wouldn't even... I don't know. This game is not... It's just not the greatness that you expect something to be when it is announced to you four years ago, three years ago, it was made, it was, they started making it four years ago, and it was announced to you E3 2013, there was just so much hype on it, being this new MMO third person shooter game type of thing, with like little survival aspects in it, but then you play it, and you're just like, this is just Watch Dogs with no hacking and you just level some different stuff up. This is not anything special at all. This is the opposite of special. The total opposite of special. This is just like any third person shooter probably that I could have bought anywhere. Except for maybe a little bit more polished with its graphics and like I'm not falling through any floors or anything, but it does have bugs and things like that. It's just not a great game. And when you look at Ubisoft, the publisher, as big as Ubisoft, although it is Ubisoft, so I guess you shouldn't have high expectations for Ubisoft games after the Assassin's Creed and after Watch Dogs. But when you look at a developing team the size of Ubisoft, and they say they're really excited about a game that they're about to put out, and then they put out a game that's just super meh, like, what the heck am I looking forward to games anymore for? Like, what am I supposed to be hype about now? What are you, like, after The Division and the future, what are you gonna be hype about? What is there to be hype about? I mean, I guess I could be hype about Horizon Zero Dawn. That looks like a pretty cool game. Overwatch is gonna be a pretty cool game, I guess. But there's not much that we can just... It was supposed to be like the savior of video games, Ubisoft. What happened? I'll tell you what happened, for those of you who are wondering. So Ubisoft, they were super hype about their game. They were like, yo, we about to kill it with this. We about to get them. They showed this game in E3 2013. Everybody was hype. They keep working on it. They keep working on it. But as they're working on it, they realized some of the things that they wanted to do in this game are just a little bit too big. That's why you see the graphics downscale so they could just put a little bit more that they wanted to put into the actual game. Because some of the things are missing. Like I'm pretty sure that the map was supposed to be bigger and that dark zone wasn't actually supposed to be in the game. I'm pretty sure the whole game was just supposed to be the dark zone. But they take out from areas to put in just a little bit more in the game to make the game feel just a little bit more special. So like, okay, even though this game is not our, it wasn't totally what we envisioned, it's still going to be fire. People are still hyped for it, it still has that hype. And then Destiny comes out. And then Destiny does big at first, but as people are playing the story in Destiny, and people see that the RPG aspects in Destiny are lacking, and people see that the content, like Bungie can't put out content fast enough for people to enjoy everything, Ubisoft is looking, they're like, I don't know exactly how big this game is going to be. I don't know if people are going to love this. So let's just keep pushing this game back. Maybe we can let some of the hype just die out. Maybe people will kind of forget about how good this game was supposed to be. Maybe people will forget about how good we said this game was going to be. But no, people didn't forget. People just kept waiting and waiting. And they kept getting more bummed out, more bummed out as this game was getting put out. And then... We play Watch Dogs, and we're just like, Ubisoft doesn't know how to play make games anymore. And we also play Assassin's Creed, and we're like, should we really be excited for The Division still? So, 
the hype turns from hype and it turns into doubt. Which kind of works in Ubisoft's favor because if the expectations for the game, people are still going to buy the game nonetheless. Like, people are still going to buy the game if it's just doubt. We didn't know if the game was going to be complete trash. But there were some rumors coming out from people playing the alphas and some of the closed betas that the game wasn't uh, that great. But people are still going to buy the game to see for themselves. So maybe if the expectations were low and they played the game, the game was even just okay, people's expectations would be so low that it, they would trick themselves into actually liking this game. But I don't know if it's worked for other people, but that's definitely, I think this game is just super average. It's like, there's no other way to put it. Uh, the actual gameplay is not good enough to make up for the fact that the RPG elements in the game is just super thin in terms of detail and the customization in the game is just what customization? There's just barely any customization. It's not a bad game like I've been saying but it's just not I don't see this game lasting for more than a couple of months. That's just my personal thought. The only reason Destiny lasted as long as it did is because the game was actually a very smooth first person shooter to play. The first person shooter purist and the Bungie loyalist carried that game to last for as long as it And the game is not going to die because Bungie is going to put out some pretty good content. I still have faith in Bungie. They're going to put out some pretty good content. I don't think they just suddenly forgot how to make games. Although this is not the same Bungie that made Halo. A lot of people left that uh, dev team. But this, is, this video is not about Bungie. This is about The Division. And The Division as a game right now, the only word that I could put for this game is disappointing. Because if it wasn't for the hype that they put in this game for the beginning, this would be perfectly fine. Like if they just released this game with like not much uh, publicity and not much hype around it, I would be like, yeah, this game is pretty damn good for like not really expecting it to be anything. Like this game, I would look at it and say this is probably just a test for another game that they're going to put in the future. But we know that this is supposed to be their huge big plan. This is supposed to be Ubisoft's baby. This is what they put all of their money into. They stacked all of their chips into this bet right here. And so far, they're not, they didn't lose, but they didn't win the whole big pot with this, with this bet that they just put on the table. Their cards weren't totally right. They didn't have that royal flush that they thought they had. They just had a two of a kind. And they, they're getting some chips, but they didn't win everything yet. That's, that's my opinion on the game. I would love to hear your opinions in the uh, comment section. Tell me if you're loving the game. Tell me if you're hating the game. Tell me what you would do to improve the game. Tell me if you think the game is just perfect the way it is. Although that is absolutely wrong because there's no such thing as a perfect game. I don't even think perfect should be a word in the English language. But that's your opinion and I'd love to hear all of your opinions. Peace.